Yeah. Big lads in the building. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I haven't I haven't uploaded a video in a long time, but I felt the need to really bless y'all with with uh some of my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Um a couple days ago I saw a video about this New York drill rapper, K Flock, getting locked up for catching a body. Now, um not a fan of K Flock. I don't really listen to his music like that. Even though all the youngins love K Flock, you feel me? The niggas hate him. The just want one of me, feel me? He look like a light skinned R and B nigga that, that make gangster music. <laughs> but um basically the video I seen, he got locked up for catching a body. And um today I seen another video by academics talking about the lawyers might have a case for self defense. Now I'm listening to the video and I got to this certain part and it kinda stood out to me because I'm from New York and I I'm a firm believer that the New York gun laws are just stupid because you feel me i live in the south you know what I mean i live in the south and in the south you can legally f carry a firearm if you don't have any felonies and i don't have any felonies you feel me but anyway this is the part that really stood out to me okay now what y'all watching on my screen it's basically k flock and it seems like two other individuals are walking down the street they walk past what i'm gonna allegedly you know what i'm saying Allegedly, we don't really know if it's K Flock, but allegedly, assume it's a barber shop or some type of store. And a guy who looked like he saw K Flock walks out and starts looking in the direction that K Flock walks in. Okay, he walks after K Flock. There's another guy who walks out, and we see several people kind of walking in and out of the frame, seemingly to pretty much tell us that off camera something is going on. Pause it right there. Typical New York shit. You might be walking down the block minding your business. Niggas might hop out the Chinese store on you. And you feel me? Shit might pop off. I've had examples where, um, 2009, my my wife, well, my girl, who's my wife right now, I uh, dropped at the little Dollar Cab, um, little depot or whatever, so she catch a Dollar Cab back to the crib. It's like 2 in the morning. I'm walking back. This is on Utica Avenue for those of y'all who are from New York. I'm walking back and I walk past the um the Kennedys. Dude come out of Kennedy's, ran down on me like, yo, bro, you got a dollar? Once you hear a nigga ask you for a dollar, you know what time it is. I was like, nah, bro, I don't got no money. Nigga said, yo, run your pockets, my nigga. I was like, yo, bro, chill. Hands up. I'm like, yo, bro, chill. Nigga reached. I got scared. I hooked off on him. Beep! Slept him. Now, I'm going to keep it 100%. I'm not no gangster. I ain't tough. I, I swung and I ran. I ain't know if he dropped. I swung. I ran. Jumped in between some cars until I got to my building. Kicked my door in. Ran to my building. Feel me? Call my girl cursed out because I had asked her to leave earlier because I already knew what time it was. I wasn't trying to be outside in the street that late at night. Anyway, come to find out, I slept him. People was walking by. I seen him on the street. Called 911. Uh, police came. They searched him. He had a blicky on him. He ended up getting locked up. For being a felon. A felon with a blicky on him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying all that to say this. This is typical New York behavior. Typical New York behavior. You'll be walking someplace minding your business and niggas will hop out on you. You feel me? Niggas will hop out. One person will hop out on you in Chinese store and the whole block is on you. Now, I don't know if that's what the situation here, but this is typical New York behavior right here. Not surprised about that. Okay. Now, it directly contradicts what NYPD said. NYPD said K Flock went up into the barbershop and basically asked the dude, bro, what you looking at? Okay? Oh, yeah. So he might have a case. Now, that would make K Flock the aggressor. In this situation, K Flock was minding his business. Mm -hmm. Somebody came out of a barbershop and probably got into it with him. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm saying probably because we really don't know what happened off camera. Now, let's just go with the thing to say he probably got into it with King Flock, the victim, right? Here's the thing that's still going to make this a very complicated case. Because I know some some people are thinking, well, it's self-defense. Yo, it's self-defense, it's self-defense, self-defense. New York, dumb We're down in or... Florida. This ain't Florida, this is New York City. First of all, you got a legal gun. There's no handguns allowed in New York City. So you're already looking at three to five, okay? By the way, let me just say it again. There ain't no handguns allowed in New York City. Okay, unless you're a former police. Pause the video right there. Yo, 
I think that New York gun laws are the dumbest gun laws in the country. The reason I say that is when you don't allow even your regular law-abiding citizens to carry pistols, you're giving criminals a chance to have the upper hand. You feel me? Like, I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with French Montana. Now, y'all might know French Montana, the artist or whatever, but y'all don't know about Cocaine City, French Montana. All right? Cocaine City, French Montana was in the studio one day, went outside for a smoke break, and two niggas approached him trying to rob him, and they shot him in the head. One of the dudes ended up dying, and after this man got shot in the head and recovered from getting shot in the head, he had to fight a case for a body. He had to fight a case for a body because apparently one of the niggas that tried to rob him died. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine almost losing your life then almost losing your freedom because niggas try to kill you and you end up defending yourself. New York gun laws are the dumbest gun laws ever because when you think about it, right, the people who come in with guns, they not law-abiding citizens. You feel what I'm saying? You have no chance of defending yourself. Nigga might try to rob you, and you might be like, yo, bro, listen, I don't got nothing on me. He impatient, bomb, he shot you. He shot you. You dead. They might catch him, but after you dead. You have no chance of defending yourself. New York gun laws are the dumbest gun laws ever. You get, I think you get like three to five for the gun, or you, I, I forgot how it go, but I know you get some time for each bullet in the gun too. Like, they gun laws are stupid. You in Georgia, bro, you in Georgia, bro, you in Georgia, you in Florida, like, I'm going to give you an example of some shit that happened in Georgia, and then I'm going I'm to play the video, bro. I had, a, I had a friend out here who do real estate, right? This man was taking the abandoned houses, the bandos, the trap houses, he was rebuilding them. You feel me? And he was selling them to people. So he would go in the neighborhood, fuck up neighborhood or whatever. He will find a bando. Okay, boom. Put some money into it. Get it looking nice like an actual house that people could invest and stay in and all that. Sell them over. The trap niggas, was, they didn't like that. So one day he was showing the house off. Dudes come up in there and try to kill him. They try to kill him. He ended up having a blicky on him. Bow, left the nigga dead. Splattered on the, on the, on the, on the, on the lawn. Police came. They checked his gun, make sure it was legal, and let him go. They took some paperwork. They was like, "All right, you're free to go." Let me tell y'all something, bro. Move out of New York, man. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell y'all that right now. Move out of New York, man. So already, you're around the bounce, okay? So already, K Flock, he's down bad for that. Secondly, because it's New York City, okay, the self-defense laws are different are than stupid. Uh, Georgia or Florida. Stupid. Florida, somebody slap you or they pull a gun on you, robbing you. If you chase that nigga down for 10 miles and you end up clapping him to get your shit back, you know what that means? You are standing your ground. Stand you your ground, my boy. You have no reasonable right to restrain. Stand your ground. You could actually, if a, basically... Only thing is, in Georgia, you can't shoot a nigga in the back. Like, if somebody break into your house, if somebody break into my house right now, and, like, they in the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I forgot that they, they in my doorway. Bow. It's over with, nigga. You shouldn't have been in here. Now, if he step outside and I still hit him, then, you know, then it's a different story. Then it's a different story. But... Yeah, bro. Like, the gun laws in New York are dumb. If a nigga start a problem, you could end it. Now, Facts. New York City, what happens is, and this is the reality of the law, basically, if somebody, like, for example, say the guy walked out of the barbershop, say he confronted K-Flock, right? Say he started talking shit to him. Or even say he hit K-Flock. Now, say K-Flock pulls out a gun. If he said, oh, chill. How you gonna know he say chill, like, though? That's not self-defense. Well, Not in New York City. Sneak, New York yo. City says you could only kill somebody only when you feel you were about to be killed by th that person. If that person changes their mind, if they verbally say to you, nah, 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 we good, because maybe you pulled a gun on them. If any of anything of the sort happens, you cannot kill that person. 
that is not self-defense at that point, they call that flat-out murder, okay? Whatever. Now, here's how it's going to end up. If it's going to be a self-defense thing, it's all going to be about what happened when that guy walked out of the barbershop. Because not because he started it means K-Flock could kill him. Did he attack K-Flock? Did he slap K-Flock? Did he, like, you know, do something to K-Flock that K-Flock thought that his life was in danger and he needed to immediately use a weapon if that was K-Flock that was rocking, you know what I mean, the designer, Amiri, Drip, you know what I mean? Again, he has to prove that in court. However, if they raise self-defense, it's the burden of proof isn't really on him, it's on the prosecutor. Now, what could help K-Flock's case if this is actually going to happen, right? Say the other guy had a gun. Say the other guy had a gun and maybe shot. It don't matter. Say the other guy had some type of weapon. It don't matter. Say the other guy, I don't know, started beating K-Flock's ass, and K-Flock thought he might get killed by this guy, okay? Maybe it's one of those situations. Basically, I'm trying to say, K-Flock, if he's going to use self-defense, has to prove his life was in danger in the moment that he shot the other guy. Bro, it don't matter, bro. In New York City, they're going to find a reason to send this man to jail. Like, I'm telling y'all, son, New York has the dumbest gun laws. That's why all these young, dumb niggas is getting away with the stuff they get away with right now, bro. You know how many times, like, how many innocent people, bro, that that are dead because they don't have a gun? You see what I'm saying? Because it's stupid-ass gun law. I had a homie. I'm telling y'all all my little life <laughs> stories, but I had a dude, man, um... Went to high school with this nigga. He was a boxer. And, um, this happened in Brownsville. He was a boxer, bro. So, anyway, his people, I think they was playing dice. And some niggas, like, try to rob him. Or whatever the situation was, niggas try to rob him. He stood up for him and was like, yo, bro, chill. And he ended up getting shot because niggas didn't want to fight him. You know what I'm saying? Like, <sighs> You know what I say, yo? If you got anything going for yourself and you live in New York City, move out of New York City. Now, stuff could happen anywhere, but at least, like, if you in a situation or you know a state where, you know, the rules kind of go behind you protecting yourself and defending yourself, then you okay. In New York City, it does not go like that. New York City is a fishbowl, it's a fishbowl full with envy and crabs in a barrel that are look for either some clout to or to try to pull you back in with them. You feel what I'm saying? K Flock up and coming rapper. Granted, I don't too agree with the stuff that he rap about. So if you rap about certain shit, you gonna bring that type of energy to you. But my thing is, bro, you getting money. You getting money. You got you having a chance to 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 take your family out the hood. You know what I'm saying? Um Make sure your friends is good and stuff like that, boy. Like, get up out of there, man. Get up out of there, bro. Leave New York City alone, man. I tell everybody that shit. Leave New York City alone. If you're in Chicago, leave Chicago alone. Let all these niggas stay out there and kill themselves, bro. It's a sad situation, man. You know, hopefully the young boy get up out of there. To be, to be honest, though. I'm trying to sugarcoat it, but to be 100% honest, based on this video I'm seeing, if this man walked out that barbershop and started with you and you end up blicking his ass down, I'm a fan. Granted, he lost his life, but at the same time, you know, he started it. He, he asked for that situation. He asked for that. You know what I'm saying? You you go playing stupid game, you win stupid prizes, bro. So that that's how I feel about that, man. I'm not a I'm not a fan of bullying. I hate bullies, and I feel as though bullies deserve to get what they got coming to them. So if he can if he walked out that shop and started with you and tried to embarrass you to look good in front of his people, because like I said in New York, a lot of times niggas rather look good than be good. He got what he had coming. Anyway, man, it's the video. You feel me? Some of y'all may not agree with me, but it's the truth. I'm gonna holler at y'all.